So I put this video together uh, for current and future students at the University of South Alabama that are in the health informatics program. Um, in the current class, a lot of you guys are saying that you can't find the ADT screen. That's the admission, discharge, or transfer screen. It's a pretty important screen that you're going to have to know how to get to. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through exactly how to get to the ADT screen. It's very, 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 very simple. So when you get to the CPSI software, uh, you'll see that you're, you should be in patient accounting. You click there. You want it to be showing department number one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit profile listing. You're going to search for your patient. I like to find mine through their medical record. When you find them, double click on your patient. And what will come up will be your demographic screen. And a demographic screen is your basic information. But what's important is that down here, you'll see the visit window inside it. And once you have everything set up, you will have any visits will be inside here, current or previous visits. So what you do is you then click on the visit, and this screen will open up, and you will click Census. Once Census opens up, it almost looks exactly the same, but it's not. You can see the changes that have been made up here. Still demographic information, but there's been some changes. In the tabs. But up top, you'll see you have an option of forms, ADT functions, and miscellaneous. The system really, really, really flows from left to right. I've played with it a lot, and it moves left to right. Usually, you start on the left, the right complements it, and so forth and so forth. This is the census screen that takes you to the ADT, and you can see that my patient right here, his account number, his name, and the room that he's in. If I wanted to transfer him or I wanted to discharge him, or if he wasn't admitted, we would just simply click down this tab here, ADT functions, and inside it, you have your transfer, discharge, uh, reverse, or change. Now, if, let's say I want to transfer him, let's transfer him. This screen opens up. Again, the system's moving basically from left to right. So here we are, we're in this new window where we have an option of transferring or canceling it. We have the current room, description of it, semi-private room, uh, maybe the type that the patient is desiring to have. And right here we have transfer to room. Any time using this system, you can use the magnifying glass, use the magnifying glass. Because again, what's going to open up is going to be this right here. I hit go. Here's every single room in the hospital. Every single room. It'll tell you what rooms are vacant, what rooms are not. Right now, the hospital looks pretty full. There's an unoccupied room in the pediatric area. Uh, there's the trauma room is available. And there's uh, our teacher's patient is still in the exam room in the ER. It's got to be getting tired. Uh, all of these are unoccupied. All of these are unoccupied. So, you know, for the class itself, I mean, I would suggest just you know, playing with the system because you can't do anything to it. It's, it won't break. You won't hurt anything. Um, so play with it and see what you can get to. Now, if we, let's transfer this person. We're going to transfer him to a, um, uh, we'll put him in the, let's see, we'll stick with him in the pediatric unit where he is right now. We'll just move him from room 500-3 over to 505. It's a better room anyhow. I heard it has a better view. So we'll click on it, and here you go. Now to make it happen, all you got to do is hit transfer. Transfer. You must complete all lines to complete transfer. Oh, reason for transfer. I'm sorry. Uh, what's a new room? What's his new room? Transfer. And he is now in 500-5. He has been moved to another room. So... Basically, you know, I recommend to everybody to just get on it and play around. Um, you can't do anything to destroy the system. It's impossible. Uh, and get in there and play around with it and click the links and see what areas is what and, and what's going on. And just get familiar with everything. I mean, I, I go in here and play with it all the time. I, you know, hit the magnifying glasses every opportunity I get. 
So I hope that this was, uh, you know, helpful to you guys. And if you have any questions, I mean, feel free to email me questions or feel free to contact me. Um, I'd be more than happy to help everybody out in the class. So that's how you get to the ADT screen. Uh, and hopefully now that will make things a lot easier for many of you out there. But in order for it to really work properly, you have to have that visit in there. You have to have new visit and put the information for the new visit. And that will give you that line that you can double click on and then go to. So I hope that this was helpful to everybody.